All right, so we still have to find things to fix up the keep. So we're gonna continue to work on that. Choose of intensity. Hmm. What's over here? Whoa! Okay. You know what? As it turned out, I didn't actually need you. the chest over here. Okay. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> uh, all right. Over here. You are. You're sitting there all quiet. Anything over here? Hmm, doesn't look like it. Oh, what's over here? even see the chest. Oh, what's over here? Mm. What is over here? over here. Oh. Uh, right here. Oh, we got a thing. Oh, I see you. I saw you before you saw me, and I took you down. You didn't even have a chance. All right, so now we can go back. Oh, what's over here? There's a guy over here. He's doing something. All right, we'll just ignore him. <laughs> Alrighty then, let's go. There you are. How goes the foraging? I believe I have everything. Let's see, yes, 
Yes, this is all of it. I'll begin straight away. All right. How goes the restoration? Restorations are still not finished. These things take time. Okay. Sounds good. I will wait. Bye. So... Okay, I guess I'm going back to the village then. I need to sell some stuff. Okay, let's head back to the village. I have to sell some things. And I believe... Uh, talk to... I forgot her name already. We traveled together and I forgot her name. There she is. Captain Bradigan. Look at you! I could just gobble you up. But it's in my contract with the Navy that I do no such thing. <laughs> okay. You found the Ardings alive and well, if not a bit soggy. Well done. I had a feeling you'd be full of surprises. I've been here searching for a means of escape. But everyone is so preoccupied with their precious scion that they hardly give me a glance. Hmm, that sucks. What is the scion? She's the one they're handing over to their god, their precious Akara. They hold a splendid ceremony and surrender her as a vessel. Then the rest of her life is spent in intimate meditation with the spirit. Oh. Sounds dreadful. Yes, I agree. Did they find Tari? No. They didn't. Alder believed he passed not long after we left him, and that he was swept out to sea. He was a good first mate, Tari. I'll miss the silent little scallywag. We did try to save him, but the winds of fortune don't always blow in our favor. Okay, well, I did speak to this dead Kel. You met him, did you? Tell me, what did the villain have to say for himself? Did he have the hangmen with him? He was pretty Blackman, arrogant. The Whispering Witch, the Baronet. Wait, what? Uh, the Whispering Witch? She wields a powerful staff, and she likes to whisper into the ears of her victims before they die. No one knows what she says. I didn't see She's also her. said to be Dead Cow's lover. Oh. Gross. Yeah. Bloodgrin? Big nasty brute. He kills with his bare hands if he can, but he'll settle for his hammer if he wants to be especially messy. That's not good. And who's this baronet? He's a fancy one. More concerned with his silks and swagger than with taking a life. Oh. As Mother always said, manners will get you everywhere, and I mean everywhere. Um, okay. Well, I have to find him. True. And I think I know how. Alder spoke of an old castaway, a man named Key, who has been on this island longer than anyone. Perhaps he's lived long enough to know our pirate friend. If nothing else, it's a good place to start. All right, well, what now? Alder will know where to find this Key fellow. Oh, okay. If we're lucky, All right. he'll be normal, not like the rest of these twisted eels. All right, I'm not counting sounds on good. It. All right, thank you. I'll be right here. Okay, I have to sell stuff. Oh, there you are. You're fishing. You've got a ship. Yet still, you come to me for supplies. Is it my pleasant personality? You don't need to answer that. <laughs> okay. All right, thank you. Thank you much. Well, All right, who do I have to talk to? Ah, right here. I'm sorry about your friend, Tari. His loss was unfortunate. But in my time, I've learned that everything occurs according to Akara's plan. We in the village are preparing for the offering ceremony to receive our new scion. Only then will you truly understand. Okay, will you have information? Captain Brattigan explained that you plan to bring dead Kel to justice. I understand your reasons, but the quest is folly. Still, I wish you success. 
So I will point you in the direction of a man named Key. Okay. He is the oldest castaway on Gallows End. He will have answers. Before you speak with him, I must ask you a favour. Your journey will take you past Soul Deep Fasting, where my wife Bridget prepares for the offering. Okay. Take her this amulet. She will want it. All scions wear it during the ceremony. Uh, okay, well, where is this, uh, soul deep fasting? It is just down the beach to the west. You will know it by the watchers standing guard out front. Do not provoke them. All right, then. Thank you. Guess I'm going this way. Greetings. All right. Or... No. This way? All right, let's go this way. Down the path. All right, then. Um... Am I going over here? I guess I am. It wasn't easy, but I followed that landing party inland. Nobody carrying that much cargo is here by accident. There's a storm brewing. Uh-oh. I'll be happy to know that I took a prisoner. That dainty fellow over there. He says he's harmless, but I'm not so sure. I had a chance to scout a bit closer and caught sight of another ship. One that's still intact, just offshore. If I were crazier, I'd steal it and make for open sea. Mostly, I just want to go after their leader. His people are here for blood. We'll know soon enough. Um. Yeah, I think you should because now I'm starting to get suspicious. Why are so, I mean, do they often come one right after another to this island? I was hoping you'd see things my way. The people in Cape Solis always lay their fates down at the feet of others. Whether it's Akara, Dead Kel, or even my father. I will no longer stand by and do nothing. I will go and I will find the one behind this invasion. He will answer to me. Okay. Well, let me know what you find. Goodbye. All right, then. And here we are. All righty. Look around for a bit. Oh, look! Stagecraft. Let's see. Okay. I was hoping I would be able to socket some. Alright, let's go down this way and give this amulet to the wife. What is it you seek? Or the, the new watcher? Zion must not be disturbed. Her meditations are of great importance to the offering ceremony. Without the proper preparation, she won't withstand the power that comes with Akara's blessing. It will destroy her. Okay, but I have an amulet. Soon, that name will mean nothing. She will be the Scion, Akara's chosen one, and the vessel for his power. I will give her the amulet once she breaks from her meditation. You must leave now. That is not a suggestion. Wait, wait, wait. Bridget is is the is the vessel? That is not your concern. She is safe. Nothing will happen to the Scion under the gaze of the Watchers. Okay, this is getting more and more suspicious. Farewell. Oh, a chest. There is a book. Let's read that book. Here it is. 
Bearing the weight of the divine is a burden like no other, and while the true secrets of Akar are not known to us, his intentions are clear. He wishes only safety and contentment for us, his people. This island is his realm, and the castaways are his charges. Because his hand is not present for us, it rests in the scion to listen. We hear the words of the master and make them known to his kin. As the offering ceremony nears, heed these words, future scions. Know that you are not alone. Many of your days will be touched by loneliness and by fits of fear. Do not despair. Akara shares every burden, as do your family members and loved ones in the village. This trial will not last forever, and it is one we all must share. As the chosen one, chosen people, Akara's wisdom gives signs a chosen will of Akara, select by him. Must prepare soul deep fasting as long. Meditate. I mean, meditate doesn't sound terrible, but it's not eternal. At the end of every generation, Akara will require a new seed. A new seed? Mortals age, change, and die. That is their nature. When the time comes, the scion will be called by Akara to step down and be replaced. Then she will be expected to leave the island, seeking out a new life among others of the wider world. Always Akara's representative. Time for a new scion has come. This sounds like some sort of cult. Okay. All right, let's go. All right. Now let's go find Key. I think that's his name. I believe that is his name. Oh boy. <laughs> okay. Moving on. Oh, look at the pretty. Oh, there's a chest. Let's get that chest. over here. Oh, who are you? Hello. Oh. Forgive my confusion, but have we met? I don't think I arrived so. on the island several months ago, or so the villagers tell me. Playing this nasty bump on my head. Tricky business memory. When you have it, you forget it's there. Once it's gone, you forget, well, everything. Yeah. Even now, I came out here for some reason I can't recall. All I have to show for my time is this map. Little good it will do me here. Uh, what map? Well, it's not a whole map, not really. More of a scrap of parchment. I found it among these debris. But why was I looking through them in the first place? For salvage? For tortoise eggs or crabs? For shells? Maybe it's a map leading to buried treasure. I mean, you are really beat up. You are missing a hand. You have your head wrapped up. What happened to you? And what do you know about this map? I'd say it's De Verga by the lettering and the designs, but I don't even know why I'd say such a thing. What's a De Verga? I don't know. I can hardly remember my name most mornings. If you look closely at the corners of the parchment, you'll see that it seems to have been torn from a larger hole, perhaps into many separate pieces. 
All right, well, I'll take it. Why not? You... I, I, I don't even... I wish I could help you. I'll take the map. Please do. It's yours. What good is a map on an island with no boats? If I come upon any more, you're welcome to them. That is, if I remember who you are. Where are the other pieces? Don't ask me. Most mornings I need to be reminded of my own name. That's not My good. advice isn't exactly reliable. Is there anything you can tell me about you? Anything that you remember? My name is Aubrey, but that is all I remember. The other villagers say they found me nearly drowned in the waters of Scuttle Beach. Oh. Okay, well, thank you. See you soon. That's kind of sad. That's actually really sad. She doesn't n remember anything. Wow. Okay. Here, we'll go this way. Oh, what's this? Oh! Oh, come on, come on, come on! <laughs> oh, another repair kit. Anything over there? Maybe. Let's go check it out first. Let's see what's over here. And, uh, who are you? I never found a shipwreck that didn't have something of value on board. Okay. And who are you? I used to sail on an Alpha wreck recovery ship until one day we were shipwrecked too. Ever since then, I've lived on this island. Oh. All right, well, thank you. Be wary. Alright, what is over here? Hmm. Oh, hello. I see you, I see you. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to mean to kill the antelope. Oh, look, there's a chest. Anything else over here? Oh, is this where the wolves are? Well, hello, wolves. There we go. Listen to me. You have to listen. Okay. She's in there. Angerard is in there and she won't come out. We have to do something, please. Okay. What did she do? The unthinkable. She made a bargain with the pirate king himself. Dead Kel. Oh. For years, Angerard has yearned for her life back in Drithia. Her days were spent in silence. The nights in a pool of tears. But I never thought she would turn to him. I tried to stop her. I did. 
but she won't listen to me. We've been friends for three years, but that means nothing to her now. I mean, desperate people do desperate things. What was the bargain? Island legend says that Mudhold is where Dead Kel creates his fair daughter crew with the help of a wizard. Oh. Uh. I'm not sure exactly. Nina Malloy has probably been there, but where hasn't she been on this rock? Hmm. True. All right, well, I'll deal with her. Uh, she's taken refuge underground in the crumbling remains of Mudhold fasting. The thing she is doing there, you can't imagine. I... Uh... Be careful. It's okay. Angerard is a delicate creature, and something deep inside of her is shattered. She would not listen to reason, and that makes her dangerous. I don't, I don't know have how to talk to, thank to her. You. All right, well, let's. I, I'll be back. Be careful. All right, guess I'm going in here. Okay. Let's see what is in here. <gasps> oh, whoa. I was not paying attention. Did not see that trap. Ooh. Okay, okay. Haha, <laughs> missed me. Okay, here we go. Alright, one more. Uh, he's got that one. I'll get this one. You got it? You got it? Nice. Very good. Okay. Oh. Anything over here? I guess not. Oh. Interesting. another piece of the map. Right, watch out for the thing. you know that dead Kel will kill you if he finds you scurrying around in his tunnels? You should um, have better sense. Better sense than me at the very least. Well, I'm actually here to kill him, so what are you doing? I am fulfilling my purpose, doing what needs to be done to release me from my imprisonment. Fair Gorta are not easy to create. It takes time, energy, power, 
Okay. But I do it because Dead Kel and I have an agreement. He is not as cold as they say. And he has his reasons for being a monster, just as I now have mine. That's not good. I have a ship. And you would take me with you? Back to Rathia? Yes. I have no need of Dead Kel's bargain if I can find another way to escape Gallo's End. I will choose to believe you, but only because I wish to return to my children as the same woman who left them. Oh. I cannot become a monster. I get it now. You know what? I do understand why you did this. You were I knew it. Desperate people will resort to desperate measures. I understand. Tell me about yourself. I am no one. I practiced magic in the Scolia Arcana as an adept. I had a husband and two children. The Order asked for volunteers to protect a shipment of goods for the Olmain. I still don't know why I did it. I don't either. But it's okay. You can go back home to your to your family. Let's go. Hello. You're welcome. I don't know how you managed to convince Angerard you found I didn't the think ship. I was going Frankly, to. I don't care. She's free. All I ever wanted was to keep her safe and to get her home. Friends protect each other. And perhaps she has become more than that to me. Even if my feelings were never returned. Angerard will see her family again, but not from dead Kel's prow. I promise you that. Well, that's good to know. All right, thank you. Take care of yourself. All right. <laughs>